What we're looking at is satisfaction data for a survey that was run at four different stores. And specifically, this is satisfaction with service. And this Excel sheet organizes the satisfaction data by store. So each column represents a store, store one, two, three, or four. And the options for satisfaction were on a scale of one to five, one being not satisfied, five being very satisfied, and all points in between. And each row represents one customer's response uh, per store. Okay, so we want to run an ANOVA, or an analysis of variance test, to see if there were significant differences between any of the stores, which could imply that one store is doing something different or better than another store, and it could inform some decisions or actionable changes that we could make in uh, a store that's that's not performing as well as the other. So this is it's an important statistical test because if there are differences, it would be good to know. We want to know if there are significant differences, if there are differences that um, we can have a certain level of confidence uh, are differences that are based on some aspect of the store versus maybe just an accident or, or a coincidence that one uh, happened to score higher than the other. So to do this, the data is organized in columns, as you can see, and we want to uh, go up to our uh, ribbon up at the top of the Excel sheet and click the Data tab. and. Uh, we're looking for the data analysis tool pack, which is right over here. This doesn't come with your Excel pre-installed. You have to install it. I've done another video. So if you don't see the data analysis pack there, it should be with your data if you have a 2000, version 2010 or higher. And so you could look at that video on installing the analysis tool pack on my YouTube channel. It's very quick and easy. It takes you about a minute. Uh, but in this case, we have it. So we want to run the ANOVA. Click data analysis. And then it gives you uh, all of your data statistical tests that you could run, a number of them that are very useful. In this case, we want to run the ANOVA single factor. Highlight that. Click OK. And then it gives us our dialog box. And uh, it, your dialog box will show up empty uh, right there. And you want to select the input range, which is the data that you want to analyze. So to select that, we will put our cursor in uh, column A row one there, and then we will um, click on that cell, go all the way down to the last response in column D, and hit the shift key, click on that cell, and then you've highlighted the input range, and it has indicated that in this row. And so, so we've got the input range, and now we want to, we want to make sure that this box is checked. There are labels in the first row. Uh, these labels are for store 1, 2, 3, and 4. We click that. And the alpha level is a default 0 0.05. We're going to go ahead and leave it at that. And that will basically tell us whether there are statistically significant differences between these four groups. We're ready to go. We click OK. The test will run and show up in another sheet on your Excel workbook, uh, on another tab automatically. And so we're looking at here two uh, boxes. The first one are your summary statistics by store, store 1, 2, 3, and 4. It tells you how many responses were for each store. It gives you the sum of those, which is not very useful when you're looking at a five-point scale. But the most important part of your summary statistics on a five-point scale is the average. So on a scale of 1 to 5, uh, the for store number 1, the customers were, their satisfaction was 3.17. And store number 2, 2.875, and so on. So you'll notice here a very large difference. Uh, uh, store number three, they were, they were the most satisfied with service, with a uh, satisfaction level of 3.29 on a scale of 1 to 5. In store number two, they were least satisfied. But we still don't know whether these were statistically significant differences, something that we can really say there is something different about the stores, uh, or whether it was just by chance that that particular day those customers uh, responded accordingly. So the way to do that is running the analysis, the, uh, the ANOVA analysis. And that's what this second box does. It gives the findings for that. And you might remember the alpha that we set at a 0.05. Here's where that comes into play. That's the p-value. And so if our ANOVA statistic is um, significant, it will be less than 0.05. And you know, in this, uh, you can see by virtue of this 
p-value being 0 0.0445 is less than 0 0.05, which basically means that we have a statistically significant difference in level of satisfaction between stores. However, the limitation with this test, and Excel in particular, is that we only know that somewhere between these four stores there's a statistically significant difference. It could be one store is statistically significant from one other store or from two other stores and so on. It could be any number of groupings. We could make the assumption that store number two is statistically significant from store number three because you have the highest and lowest score there and that's very probable. Uh, there's not much more that we can do with this in Excel except we could run a different analysis using a number of t-tests with combining store number one and store number two for one t-test, two with three, another t-test, one with three, and so on, running six different t-tests to find out which store is statistically significantly different from another store. This presents a problem and you have to adjust for a particular type of error, but I'll show you how to do that in another video on running multiple t-tests. Uh, but for now, this is your analysis of variance, and it was statistically significant.